Sydney demands to know that Stevie is dead. Cash confirms that she is, but Sydney is skeptical as no death has been reported. He orders Cash to sit down as he again points the gun at him, before scrolling his phone for news of a fatality. As Cash tries reasoning with Sydney, Eden arrives home. Cash takes his moment to tackle his distracted captor to the ground. Eden calls the police. Meanwhile, Rose delivers the sad news to Nelson that Stevie didn't make it. As she prepares to clear the crew to get home to their families, she issues a warning, there's a media blackout and they need to hold off from telling people that Stevie has died until the family has been notified. When Rose ends a call with Sarge, she suddenly has to leave after learning that Cash has the gunman. When she arrives at his place, she arrests Sydney, who cackles in delight to learn that his victim has in fact died. Swear. Remy is broken following Stevie's death and Brie is left to console her ex-boyfriend over the loss of his new love. When he sees her being rolled past in a body bag, he can't cope and storms off. The next day, Brie admits to Rose that she is confused about Remy and Nelson. When she offers her support to Remy again, he's cold, questioning why she cares now that they've broken up. Cash is irate to learn that a mistrial was declared due to a post on social media. Eden tries to talk Cash down as he grapples with feelings of rage and guilt. Before she can succeed though, a distraught Remy barges in to confront his friend for failing to save his lover's life. It seems Cash agrees, and Eden sadly reports to Rose the next day that he does in fact blame himself for Stevie's murder. Will Cash and Remy find a way forward in the wake of this tragedy?